Apple has not fixed this bug that's been tormenting me for months now. It's where the control center is off by pixels. You can see here it's cut off. And if we scroll, the whole control center is just off. Like, totally unusable now. Hello everyone, Ice Cool Tech here. So we have an Apple Watch Series 3 on WatchOS 7.4 Beta 4. Let's take a look. If you want short but detailed iOS 4 reviews that cover the devices you care about, make sure to hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you always know if it's safe to update or not. Overall performance, since updating to watchOS 7.4, Beta 4 has been identical to that of Beta 3. But when compared to watchOS 7.3, I've noticed a very slight decrease. Though that's likely due to the fact that this is still a beta. Animations on watchOS 7.4 Beta 4 have been slightly improved over Beta 3, and with Beta 3 I noticed more stuttering, while Beta 4 has fixed that for the most part. Compared to watchOS 7.3, I'd say that there's been a very slight improvement. Before I get into battery life, keep in mind that my Apple Watch has a maximum capacity of 100%. Now, battery life since updating to this beta of watchOS 7.4 has not been the greatest in my experience. It's slightly better than the battery life I saw with Beta 3, but it's definitely worse than what I got with WatchOS 7.3. While it's not an overly dramatic drain, it is very noticeable. Now there is no consistency with standby time, and as a result, I've noticed an overnight drain of anywhere from 0 to 6%. Now keep in mind that your battery performance can and will most likely vary from mine. Now, while we get pretty mixed results with WatchOS 7.4 Beta 4 on the Apple Watch Series 3, such as slightly worse battery life, slightly improved animations, and the same standby battery, etc, etc, we're still brought back to the main question of should you update? Well, if you're on an earlier release of WatchOS 7, I'd say wait for the public release. Once you install a beta, you cannot downgrade from it on Apple Watch unless you go to the Apple Store and have them do it. If you're on WatchOS 6 or earlier and don't need to update and do not experience any issues, I'd recommend just staying there for now. Alright everyone, that is all I have for this video, now if you do have any questions or you'd just like to say hi, make sure to leave a comment down below. Of course, you can make sure to follow me on Twitter using the link in the description. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.